alcohols, phenols, ethers, correct? Carboxylic acid or uh, whatever is there in the organic chemistry, hmm? except the haloalkyl haloarene. So we are going to discuss that. So let's see. First question on heating ethanol with excess of concentrated H two SO four to thousand seven hundred degrees Celsius. The product obtained is what? The first one, this one. So this is pretty much a direct question, correct? Yes. So this is nothing but what? Alcohol with acid, correct? Alcohol with acid. So what is the product? So alcohol with acid will give me what? Alkene. So the key idea and this is what let me clear this yeah so the first question the key idea is nothing but alcohol plus acid and heating is gonna give me what an alkene so this is our key idea on solving this question. So in our question, it is what ether alcohol with sulfuric acid, H2SO4, correct? And heated with 170 degrees Celsius. So in our thing, it is what basically CH3 ether alcohol, CH3, CH2, OH plus acid, H2SO4, gives me what what will happen oh it will be replaced with hso4 correct oh it will be replaced with hso4 and it will be what with water so this will give me actually what ch3 ch2 hso4 hso4 and water and this thing, we, when I heat it with 170 degrees Celsius, I'll get what? C2H4. C2H4 and H2SO4. So H2SO4 is not important for us. What is important is the end product. Correct? So the answer of this is ethene. Two. The first one, the answer is ethene. So second one, phenol is treated with bromine water and shaken well. The white precipitate formed during the reaction is which one? Okay. So phenol treated with bromine water and shaken well. So second question. So for that, I'll draw the phenol. That is benzene with what? the OH, this is my phenol, correct? This I am mixing with what? Bromine water. Then what is the product formed? So obviously it is what? OH will be here, BR, then here it is BR and this is BR. So what is the product options given? Options is what? 246 tri tribromophenol, M bromophenol, mixture of ortho and para bromophenol, 24 bromophenol, 24 dibromophenol. So totally we got three bromine things. This is again a direct question. Correct? Yes, this is again a direct question. So what is the answer of this thing? 
option A because it is having tribromophenol. So without even naming the thing, we can mark option one as the answer. Two, four, six. So if the naming is a difficult, we can start the naming from here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. This is basically two, four, six. Tribromo phenol. Phenol because benzene ring with the OH. That's it. So let's see the third one. An organic compound without the carboxylic acid group. Okay. So ascorbic acid, vinegar, oxalic acid, picric acid. So vinegar, so in the sense carboxylic acid group. So the basic idea we should have is what, what is a carboxylic acid group? So this is again a direct question here. So third one is what? Direct in the sense carboxylic acid COH group. Correct. So which of the following? In the sense, we have to know the structure of these things. Which one? The ascorbic acid, vinegar, and oxalic acid. So while knowing the structure, only picric acid is the one, the fourth one, which doesn't have a COH group. In the sense, all other things has got what? The COH thing. So if I want to write the picric acid here, okay, if I want to draw it, it's basically one OH here, correct? Yes, and then what? NO2, NO2, and NO2. Yes, it's again 246 trinitrophenol. So this picric acid has got what? It does not have, it does not have COH group. All other things has got what? COH group. Picric acid does not have the COH group. So the correct option is picric acid. So the other acids you can just search and get it down on the internet. Okay. Yeah. Fourth one is a very direct question. A compound that undergoes bromination easily. Okay, fourth one, a common undergoes bromination easily. So this is, we got four options here. Benzene, phenol, benzoic acid, and toluene. Toluene is nothing but benzene ring with CH3. Phenol, we all know what it is, OH. And benzoic acid with GOH group, and benzene is the basic thing. So we have learned it directly that bromination is what basically, it is directly associated with Phenols. So this is a pretty much direct question. Question number four. Cumin. Cumin process is the most important commercial method for manufacture of phenol. Cumin is what? So they given the option. Correct. But if you know what is cumin, we will get to know. So I'll just draw what is cumin. For the fifth question here. Yes. So this is basically what? My ISO propyl benzene this is basically my iso propyl benzene or 
if i want to number it i can write what 1 methyl ethyl benzene or cumene so i look at these things in the option correct so i got what 1 methyl ethyl benzene is here other is ethyl benzene that is not coming vinyl benzene is a wrong propyl benzene if it is isopropyl benzene it is correct okay so propyl benzene should be a straight chain but isopropyl benzene is what i drew so that is cumene so the correct answer is one for this so we should know the structure of cumene for answering this fifth one so let's go to the next one uh, sixth one the coulter fraction which contains phenol is which one okay so there is something called middle oil green oil heavy oil okay or light oil so middle oil is nothing but it's called what the oleic oil oleic oil so what is this green oil so what is this green oil so basically the green oil is thing but this what a biofuel then heavy oil and light oil that is out of scope for us as of now okay so the coulter fraction yes so this mainly consist of what the oleic oil correct so this is what basically the oleic oil so this contains phenol as well as naphthalene 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 so if you don't know what is naphthalene this already in class 11 a basic uh, some basic principle techniques of organic chemistry or i think uh, as the first chapter of organic chemistry has got naphthalene so if i join two benzene structure together no this thing so this basically my naphthalene that's all seventh one a compound a has got a molecular formula c2cl3oh it reduces felling solution and on oxidation gives a mono carboxylic acid b a can be obtained by the action of chlorine on ethyl alcohol a is what okay so they are asking what is this a a can be what so the key point in this question in which one the seventh point seventh one okay the seventh question if i want to write here so molecular formula what they given c2cl3 oh correct and in the question they are given a reduces the filling solutions a reduces the filling solution correct and on oxidation 
and an oxidation this is just the question what i am just writing the question give gives us what mono carboxylic acid mono carboxylic acid so that is my b so from this clearly we should know that a must be what a must be an aldehyde a must be an aldehyde correct so this c2cl3 oh correct c2cl3 oh so what is basically uh, if i'm just taking a reaction let us let me take ethyl alcohol uh, c2 h5oh ethyl alcohol if i take and react with chlorine and run oxidation it will be giving me give me what ch3 cho correct ch ch3 cho and further reaction with chlorine it will be giving me what ccl3 cho ccl3 cho so what is ccl3 cho it is an aldehyde here so this is nothing but what chloral chloral okay so for us in this our correct answer is which one third one chloral chloral that is the correct answer so in the same question paper i given the solutions also answer key this is the seventh one it is written uh, third one yes let me check further yeah seventh it is third one chloral yeah eight question eight question pretty much direct question the reaction in which phenol differs from alcohol is which one eighth one first option is it liberates hydrogen with sodium metal second it forms yellow crystals of iodoform third it reacts with ammonia fourth for it undergoes esterification with carboxylic acid so in what reaction does phenol re differs from alcohol here itself they given a big clue one is our iodoform so i think this we are done in our the lab okay in the lab chemistry lab lab preparation basically so iodoform test is what basically iodoform test so this is basically exhibited by which one ethyl alcohol correct that is nothing but i'll write on c2h5oh ethyl alcohol yes then acetaldehyde acid aldehyde correct ketone that is an acetone acetone methyl ketones and all of the thing which exhibit what ch3 ch oh group not the benzene structure ch3 ch and the oh group and everything except phenols iodoform test cannot be done by phenols so here it is option b